Hello and welcome guys. So now we can start with the texturing process. So as we are now in Substance Painter, I expect you guys to know the basics of Substance Painter because I won't be covering that in this course. We'll directly start with the texturing process. If you want to learn about uh, Substance Painter from beginner to advanced, I have a complete course uh, on it. So you can check that out if you want to learn Substance Painter. So yeah, now we can start. Uh, I will just select the Game Boy Texture Set and we already have this layer 1 added by default. So just select this and let's delete it. Alright, so basically what we can do is we can start by creating the basic plastic material that we will be mainly using for the body, the buttons and most of the things. So yeah, we first need to create a plastic material. So click on here to add a new fill layer. And this will be our base layer. Alright, so as soon as you add a fill layer, you can scroll down and see all the properties over here. You can change things like the base color, the metallic value roughness and things like that so let's just undo it so the only thing that i will be changing right now is the color of our uh, layer so if you go over in the resources folder and in the links section you will find this color palette link just open it up this basically has all the color values for our uh, nintendo game boy that we will be using so quickly just open up this link in your browser so it will be something like this uh, we have all these colors so i will be just copying up this color over here so copy this up from over here the gray one and just paste it like this over here and now we have the color basically so yeah this will be our base color and also i will create a new folder or a group and drag and drop this base layer into that folder let's rename this folder to plastic and now basically we can start adding more layers onto it to give it like a uh, more detail adding all those things like dust roughness variation and everything all right so basically uh let's create another layer so just select here and add a fill layer so that it gets added on top of it and you will notice as soon as we do that our, our color disappears because now we have a new fill layer on top of it so yeah don't worry we'll use masks to mask everything out let's rename this to dirt and just give this a dark color you can also type in my hex code i've already decided on a color so 747474 something like this and now uh, basically we will add a black mask and this time i will be making use of the feature of substance painter that is smart mask uh, if you remember we baked like some mesh maps in the start um, that was so that we can use all these features so if you click over here in your shelf on the smart mask section you can access all these smart masks you can like drag and drop it onto your mask and you will see its effects as soon as you do that you can see our layer is masked out in this dirt fashion so you can choose from all these different like smart masks and we can have all these results you can click over this generator and you can adjust the settings to however you like and if you want to like change the color of the dirt and everything you can select the layer the fill layer and just change the color from over here the roughness metallic obviously everything let's undo it back and i will remove the smart mask as i will not be using this i was just showing you for demonstration obviously you can choose any one you want from over here you can definitely experiment with this a little bit i will be going for this one soft dirt over here so just drag and drop it onto here right away you won't notice any changes because it is like very subtle if you turn it on and off you can see in all these edges but if you select the dirt generator from over here let's adjust these settings a little bit and then we can like get better results so i will increase the dirt level to maybe something like 0.6 and the contrast can say stay at 0.15 only i think that's fine i will adjust the grunge amount next to reduce the amount of grunge to maybe something like 0.2 and that's pretty good also select the texture set settings and increase the size of the texture to 4k so that you can view everything properly over here and yeah i think it is a still little bit darker so what you can do is instead of like adjusting the color again and again you can go over here click on here this is the opacity channel 
so you can increase or decrease the opacity from over here i will set this to something like 80 and yeah i think this way it adds like a nice bit of value to our texture and it is not that like in our faces it is very subtle all right let's move further and the next thing that i will be adding is i will be giving it a little bit of height information i will be adding some bumps to make it look like a plastic material so again add a new fill layer and this time we will be using the height channel i will just show you in a second first let's rename this to bumps and i won't make any changes to this layer right now i will just basically add a black mask and this time i will not be using a smart mask i will be using a simple fill layer so to use a fill layer we cannot really use it directly like a smart mask like we cannot drag and drop a fill layer so to properly use a fill layer or a texture from over here uh, you can click on this section of your shelf this has like all the different textures that you can use all the grunge maps and everything so yeah to use it with a mask you first need to click over here and add a fill layer and now we can add uh, that particular texture to this fill layer so the one that i am looking for is cells so this one cells one drag and drop it like this all right so again we do not see anything right now but let me just show you i will first change this to triplanar projection so basically this is just the uv projection and adjust the tiling and i think you can notice it a little bit we can see all this cell structure so let's just change the color of this so that it is easier to notice so yeah now you can see the like now you can see it properly all right so now let's click over here and come back to the mask and increase the tiling because as i said i will be creating bumps with this so obviously the bumps would be like really small so set this to maybe something like 15 or maybe even smaller so 20 and now obviously i do not want all this color information as i said i want to create some bumps so i will be only using the height channel so just disable everything and only keep the height channel you can also do it like by clicking on each of them to turn them off or you can hold alt and click on the height channel and basically disable everything and now if you increase the height channel you can see you can give it height info very easily so let's see i will be going for something like minus 0 0.02 and yeah you can see we have added like very small bumps to our material to make it look more like plastic as you can see it gives it a nice bit of detail maybe i will decrease it a little bit to minus 0 0.015 yeah that looks much better next what we can do is obviously we do not want this material to appear over all these uh, things like this is the screen and yeah we do not want the material over here so click out of this just close the folder and what you can do is there are like two three different ways to separate out a material one of them obviously is again we can add a mask and you will see it is now disappeared from all of the model and now we can use this tool the polyon fill select the mesh fill from over here and make sure to set the color to one to white and now when you click over here you can see it is filling now it is appearing only over this area again you can select the mask and select all different objects like this one you cannot really see it appearing so just move the lighting hold shift and right click and move the lighting click over here and you can see we are filling all these different pieces with the material you can also remove it by setting it to black color and then clicking and you can see now the material or the layer is removed so let's just undo it also you can switch between this black and white color by pressing x yeah this is pretty basic stuff but again as i said uh, this is like one way to do it i won't be using this method i will be using a different method that is much much easier so you can click over here right click and remove the mask and you can see now it appears again over all of our objects click on this icon over here this is like the geometry mask and this is like a really cool feature just right click on it and hit exclude all and now you can easily select the objects that you want to add this uh, layer to so select this one select this one and this one and for now i think only the, yeah we can select this thing also over here and these are all the objects that we want to add this particular plastic material too and you can see 
how good it works it was like really easy to do so yeah let's continue making our plastic material let's add some more details to it next i will add another layer and this time i will be adding a little bit damage to our edges or like discoloration let's rename this to edges first again add a black mask you can come back to the brush tool so that you don't see this appear again and again let's see we can now use a smart mask i will be using this one edges strong scratched edges strong scratch this one Let's drag and drop it like this and yeah now i don't know if it is visible right away if you can see right over here on the edges if you turn it on and off you can see a little bit of edge color has changed just select the color and set it to completely white and yeah now it is really visible let's select here and select the generator and let's see how we can edit it we can definitely decrease the contrast to maybe something like 0.2 yeah this way it looks much much better and the next thing what i will do is obviously we don't want it to appear this way it is like very harsh so again we will adjust the opacity so just click on here and reduce the opacity until it is like very faint to, so maybe something like 40 and you can see this way it looks like really good it adds a nice bit of value to our edges you can just turn it on and off and see it makes it look much more realistic and yeah this way it looks like really nice our material all right so let's keep on moving further and the next thing that i will add is maybe some scratches so let's just make it a dark color something like this maybe yeah and then let's rename this to scratches add a black mask and this time add a fill layer and in the texture section search for scratches and there are like various different grunge maps that you can use for the scratches but i will be using this one grunge dusty scratch i think this one is pretty good drag and drop it and yeah right away you can see how it adds a little bit of dust marks and like scratches to our model and makes it look like more organic uh, let's adjust it a little bit i will click on here first set this to tri in a projection i think and we can increase the tiling so definitely not that big We can also increase the balance to make the effect a little bit more apparent. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. And I will just decrease the opacity to somewhere around 70 to make it a little bit lighter. And yeah, I think this looks pretty good. You can turn off like all the layers and then open them one by one like enable them one by one to see how they add like different information to your material to make it look better and yeah i think the last thing that i will be doing is i will simply be adding a roughness variation layer so just to add like a little bit of roughness uh, variation in our model because right now it is all the same roughness as you can you know, like move your lighting and see there is no roughness variation i will just show you how we can add that all right so it is really simple again you just need to add a new layer rename this to roughness variation and obviously we only need the roughness channel so hold alt click on here and disable everything let's increase the roughness to maybe something like 0.4 because over here we have like 0.3 maybe we can set this to 0.25 and yeah now we have 0.4 add a black mask 
and simply let's add a fill layer. Let's search for grunge map over here. And the one that I will be using is, where is it? I will be using this one, grunge map 007. So just drag and drop it over here. And let's see. Yeah. If you like look over here now and try to move your lighting, you can see we have like different roughness variation over here. You can also view it properly if you go over here and select the mask. Let's set this to triplanar and we can properly adjust it. I think this way it looks much better by setting it to triplanar. So just press M. And now if you look over here and move your lighting, you can clearly see that there is a bit of roughness variation going on over here. And we don't have like everything is same. You can turn off the layer and see for yourself. So yeah, basically these are the like little subtle details that add a lot of information to your material. All right. So now uh, I think our material is completely done. If you want to use this uh, like smart material in your different projects, you can right click and create a smart material out of this. Select this and you will see it will be appearing over here as plastic underscore one. So yeah, you can definitely use it. You can rename this to something else, maybe smart material plastic and then create a new smart material so that it does not clash with anything else like yeah, over here. All right. So yeah, that was it. Next, what we can do is we can create like duplicates of this and add it to like the buttons to create like various colors from it. So yeah, let's just first rename it to something proper so that we can know everything properly. I will just rename this to plastic white so that we know. And now let's press control C and control V. And this one we can name it plastic red. Open up over here. Come back to that, uh, this website and copy this one. Copy and select the base, click over here and paste it like this. I can see the color change to red. Now click on this icon over here, geometry mask, right click and exclude all and just select these two buttons. And basically that was it. So you can see the edges look like really weird because of this particular layer. So maybe we can just turn it off or if you want, you can change the color to something else. Maybe something that is related to this color. Like this, to make it look a little better. Also, I will be turning off the bumps because we don't really need them on these buttons. That would look like really weird. And for the roughness variation, I will set this to 0.3 to make it a little bit more shiny. And the base uh, roughness value goes back to 0.2 maybe 0 0.18 just to make them a little bit more shiny than the normal body and yeah this way i think it looks really good all right let's press ctrl c then v and this can be our plastic black again let's copy up this one from over here select the base click over here and paste it Right click, exclude all and select this, 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 all these. Now, obviously the edges are again causing some issues. So first let's just say, uh, enable them and change the color, something along these lines only. Also for the dirt layer, I will make the color a little bit darker and reduce the roughness value to 0.2. Next for the edges, I will maybe go for somewhat of a lighter color. We can maybe make this lighter and then we can just reduce the opacity even more to something like 
ट्वेंटी और इवन लेस टेन में भी just so it does not look weird over here yeah that's better i guess all right next for this area i think we can just select this one plastic white copy it and paste it bring it over here at the top right click exclude all and select this part and these two buttons and for only this color i don't think we have anything on this uh, color palette just for that color so let's open up our reference image and look at it so this sort of color let's just create it on our own select the base layer click on here I will turn off the edges for now. Yeah, I think something like this looks pretty good. Let's enable back the edges. let's see let's go back to curvature adjust the global balance i think this uh, smart mask does not really work well with this thing so let's remove this and we can try something else so let's remove the smart filter and click on the smart mask and let's try something else let's try edges blur we can infinitely use the global balance and yeah i think this one looks much better for this type of thing we definitely need to reduce the opacity a lot just so it is like really light maybe like 15 i'll we'll make the color a bit darker and yeah i think this looks really nice and turn it on and off and see obviously for this also we will be turning off the bumps and yeah i think a model looks like really really nice the textures are coming out pretty good so the last thing that we need to do is we need to create the screen so for that obviously uh, we can create a separate folder let's rename this to screen and let's just save everything so before moving further just hit save all right so again add a new fill layer drag and drop it into the screen click on here right click exclude all and just select this and the screen can be of somewhat like a green color something like this maybe works pretty good obviously you can like experiment with this and we need to set the roughness value to 0 just so it is like very shiny all right so for now this looks pretty good in my opinion and this lecture is already quite long so i will end it up over here and we can continue working on our textures from here on the next video so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one